Hey guys, it's Melissa from womensabworkout.com and today is the Sunday before I have to go back to work. I was fortunate enough to enjoy a nice long four day weekend with Thanksgiving and during that time I had the opportunity to reflect on what's been going on in my life and I thought, you know, what's better than the truth? And I feel that most people that are online don't necessarily always promote the truth. I'm not saying that everyone doesn't, but there are people who will sit there and tell you, oh, I work out every day, I'm at the gym, and they're sitting there eating a bag of potato chips in real life. So with that in mind, I was at the gym on Saturday and pretty much wrote a blog post or a video in my mind, and I hope I can remember what I was trying to say. Um, life has been hectic the last three months. I'm a full-time teacher. It is my first year uh, teaching. I teach fourth graders, so they're about nine to ten years old. And trying to balance that, uh, being a teacher, working the usual 8.45 to 3.45, which usually ends up somehow from 7 a.m. to 5, and trying to fit in a gym schedule and have the energy to go to the gym is, I found to be almost near impossible some days. Um, I love the gym and it's a place for me to relax, to get out my frustrations. It's a place that I love to go to and recently has become not the bane of my existence but a place of frustration because I haven't been able to go and because I haven't been able to go as often as I want, my body does not look like what I want it to. Look at that. If you don't go to the gym, you don't have the body you want. Um, and it's hard to come to that realization in your head without getting frustrated because you more or less think well why have I not been going I want to go and just get yourself there well once you stop going the first time or you miss it the first time it's very easy to be like okay I can't go um, there's days when I've shown up at the gym at seven o'clock at night and a couple of the guys that are regulars there are like why are you here so late because I've had to go but there's plenty of days where 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock rolls around and you think of the crowd of people at the gym and how busy it's going to be and it's very easy for me to take my car and turn the direction home, not to the gym. Um, so I actually took some time this weekend and I went to the gym Friday and Saturday, which is not necessarily a big deal, but it is because it's gotten me back on track. I took time to refocus my workouts. I've rewritten them. Um, I'm going to be focusing on legs for the next little while, which is easily one of my favorite body parts to work. I don't know why. I just love lean legs. Um, so I'm determined to work them for a while and make some improvements. So knowing that I have legs twice a week and back and shoulders in there just makes it that much better of a workout because I'm looking forward to it now. And I've decided by making this video as well that I'm verbally committing myself to doing this. I've written down my goals and I'm getting back on track as of now. Most people lose their track and lose sight of their goals and focus now that it's the holidays and I'm more determined than ever to get back on track because to be perfectly honest I don't really like how I'm feeling right now. Um, this is not who I am. Um, missing the gym is not who I am. It's funny how something like that can define who you are but it has for me. So, I'm going to the gym, starting now, as consistently as I was three months ago. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't missing the gym completely, three times a week, two times a week. But when you go from going five or six days a week to that, it's just not good for you mentally. So, I'm committing, and I'm letting you know that it's okay to fall off track, as long as you take the time to realize that you're off track, and let yourself refocus. Um, get your goals back in order and get back on the bandwagon and that's exactly what I'm doing so with that in mind I'm going to go ahead and post this video for you and I will keep you posted about my workouts this week have a great day